I want to welcome all of y'all for coming out today uh, for a special event, a historic event uh, for the city of Lenore and Lenore Fire Department as it's been 45 years since we have got to do this for a fire station in the city of Lenore. So needless to say, we are very excited. I want to tell you just a little bit about the station. We built this station or actually acquired this property out here to help us with our response times and a safer response for our firefighters and quicker for the uh, Lower Creek community. Uh, some things that you need to know about this building is we was able to do some upgrades. Uh, this is our first fire station that has a sprinkler system in it. Uh, also the first one that has a, uh, a fire alarm for it as well. And of course we are trying to do everything green we could so everything we could get gas fired has been, has been done in this building. Uh, what we'll have out here when we are open will be one engine company with four personnel and the battalion chiefs are also moving out here. So we'll be staffed with five people out here during the day. And now during fires, all our units respond anyway, so we're not giving up anything. Just some thank yous why I'm here is I would be a fool to try to even take credit for this out here. Uh, this has been visions from every chief that has come before me. Chief Briscoe, Chief Church, Chief Coffee, and Chief Williams, I wish he was here today. This vision, I just happen to be the one that's wearing the bugles when everything finally got put together for this. So I want to thank them for their vision. Thank all of these retired firefighters that are here before us that paved the way for this station out here. So a huge thank you. Uh, to our city manager, Mr. Hildebrand, and our finance director, Ms. Donna, thank you so much for your perseverance in starting and seeing that this project was finished. To our city council and mayor for their forward thinking and allowing us to move ahead on behalf of the citizens for better services to our city. Uh, Blue Ridge Energy, thank you for the loan and grant program that assisted us with the financing for this building. Of course, Mr. Martin and his family, thank you for the opportunity to purchase this building. Uh, this was a better location for us, uh, for our response and for the citizens, and by you allowing us to acquire this property from building a new station, the city and its taxpayers saved roughly about 800000 to a $1 million doing this. So thank you. Big thank you to Rushy Mountain Builders and all their subcontractors. I apologize if I don't name you. I didn't want to name them, so just leave it as that. But I did want to include David Gray and his workers. They've done a lot of the subbing out uh, to make this happen. Jesse Plaster, Chief Barlow, thank you so much for putting a plan together on paper. And you see the results of that, and that's because of those two gentlemen. Uh, Jared Wright. Jared, that's... That was my project manager. He has dealt with this, and anything I've needed popped up, he has been there for me immediately. And a testament to that is today. He was here immediately, so thank you, Jared. Uh, a special thank you to all city departments. Each one of the city departments had something to do with us being here today and getting this project done. Whether it was giving up something or sanitation coming picking up this, street department yeah, was here last week all week, public utilities, getting our sprinkler system in. It was a, a complete effort from all city departments that this is even allowed to be here. But my most special thank you is to all the firefighters at Lenore that have performed some work out here. You all should know that the majority of our firefighters have come out here and put many hours of work in as well as the other contractors that are here. I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm talking to the firefighters, I'm so proud of you guys especially and cannot be more thankful to you for your dedication and pride that you have all shown to this department, this city, and especially to me. You will never cease to amaze me for all you will and are willing to do for this department and this city. So I just want to say thank you. Now, I'm done, so I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Mayor Joe Gibbons. Thank you, Chief, and good afternoon and welcome to fire station number three. Isn't it exciting? As Chief uh, Hare said, it's been 45 years since we built station two in Whitnell, 50 years since we built station one downtown uh, on, uh, right there as you come into our beautiful city. So we're excited that we have uh, station three in 2019. I was laughing with the city manager. I said, well, it was five years from one to two we might go five years from three to four. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> that would be wonderful. 
I would like to say thank you for everyone who's here. Uh, our city council, I know our, our many are here uh, this evening, and, and uh, I see them looking around. I don't, I'll go, I don't want to introduce everybody, but thank you for all guys for being here. The, these guys were all part of what we're doing here today. Our city manager, Scott Hildebrand, had the great vision with this. Uh, former manager and council member Lewis Price is here, and I tell you what, he got all this started back in uh, 1969 when he, when he <laughs> built the station and hired uh, Chief Williams as our first full-time chief. And uh, we're thinking about Chief Williams today. We just lost him several weeks ago, and, and what a great uh, leader he was in our community. And as uh, Chief Hare said, we've had five, uh, Chief Bobby Coffey, Chief Randy Church, who you'll hear from in just a minute, Chief Ken Briscoe, and Keith, of course, Chief Ken Hare, our five uh, chiefs that are full-time chiefs that have been paid. So we're honored to have them. I would like to say, like Chief Hare said, thank you to all our firemen who do so much. You know, not only do they protect us every day, put their lives on the line every day of things that could happen, they're always ready, but thank you for all the other things that you do. You're asked to uh, sometimes move tables, get bats out of houses, uh, every now and then a bird or two once in a while. <laughs> and we, we do appreciate all that you, what you guys do and to take care of us every day. We're honored for what you are there. Thank you, Mac Martin. Mac, you and your family, thank you so much. The beautiful building that you built to start with and then worked out such a wonderful thing to, uh, for us to be a part. And then we've come in and made some changes to it. But without your uh, leadership on that part, we wouldn't be where we are today. And we appreciate what you've done there. And of course, thank you to Blue Ridge uh, for all of you guys and what you've done to be a part of it. Thank you so much for the, uh, the loans and the uh, grants and all the things that we put together. Alan, thank you for all your hard work on that, Alan Burke. And we really do appreciate that very much. So again, uh, on behalf of all the city of Lenore and the city council and all, for all the citizens of our great city, we do today ex dedicate and accept this new station, fire station number three, August the 12th, 2019. Thank you, and God bless everybody. We'll hopefully that we won't have to do anything wild in protecting you, but we, if it is, we're ready and ready to cover it in this area. I'm now going to bring up uh, Com County Commission Chairman Randy Church. All right. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to begin by thanking everyone for the opportunity to be here uh, for this dedication service and thank Chief Hare and, and the mayor and the city council and the folks for allowing me to come. Uh, I began in 1980 my career at the Lenore Fire Department, a fresh graduate of high school and uh, Chief Sam Williams has already been mentioned but he gave me the opportunity to come to work at Lenore Fire Department and uh, because of that I was instilled with having some values and traditions that are carrying forward today in Lenore Fire Department and they go with me everywhere that I go myself. But I'll simply say that uh, those traditions and values, I couldn't help but snicker when you guys began to work on the station and there was some pictures went up on Facebook about the firefighters actually out here doing the work. And I know from my time and experience at the fire department that we took care of the things that were around the firehouse and we took care of them with due diligence and we learned that uh, in my time from Chief Williams who instilled that uh, through all the years that I worked for him. And so it's the Lenore Fire Department way and that, that's just the way it is. It has been for 40 years and it will continue that way I know. And I, I thought about this when I was thinking about Chief and, and we laid him to rest just a few weeks ago, but uh, it missed her, that's just the way it is. And so I appreciate the firefighters for coming and doing their part and appreciate this uh, facility and where it's built. We've got an EMS base that's going close uh, to it here, so uh, we're very proud of that. And we're proud of the fact that we're going to be close to each other here and responding to the folks uh, in this area. So on behalf of my fellow Caldwell County Commissioners and Chief Hare, the residents of Caldwell County, we'd offer our congratulations today on your new fire station. And Fire Station 3, it's something to be proud of, and I pray that it serves you well. 
a place of preparation for the next emergency, a place of rest from your most recent assignment, and ultimately a place to call home. Because firefighters are a family, and they come home every day when they come to the firehouse. And so uh, you guys and firefighters are here. You've got a long-standing tradition to follow through. I know the faces have changed, and many of you are new faces, uh, but we are proud for you and proud of you to have this facility. And I'll just simply say may God bless each and every one of you and keep you safe, each and every one that pass through these doors. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. We appreciate it. Thank you for your service to this fire department for so many years, and you are a great part of it. I'd like to introduce Mr. Mac Martin. He will come forward, the gentleman who uh, who started this building and his family, and let I'll let Mac introduce everybody. Mac, thank you very much. We're very proud to be a part of it. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm first. I'm going to start off introducing my family. Microphone. This is my wife, 50 years. Jason, come up here. This is my son. He grew up with the High Brighton. You might have known him from playing golf back in back in the day. This is his wife Stephanie, and she's from Clemson, North uh, Clemson, South Carolina. And uh, we don't hold that against being here. She's playing. And this is my two buddies, Carter Martin and Tucker Martin, and they're the uh, they're the only ones in this crowd that's not happy with this transaction because this was their playground, go kart track. And I could put them back there and let them play and lock them in, and nobody could run off with them. So I want to also I want to start out with uh, the thanks to the mayor, the city manager, all the city council, Chief Hire, Jerry Wright, and also the the main one in the bunch is Blue Ridge Electric for funding this deal. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with the city. I couldn't ask for it to be any better kind of transaction. It went uh, pretty easy, I think. Uh, so I'm glad it's... Uh, one thing I'd like to say, this is... I was born and raised in this community. I've been 71 years old. And there are not many people can say I went to Lower Creek School, went to Lower Creek Church, I went to high school, went to Oak Hill, but I've made my living up here for 52 years at Custom Veneers, and that's within a mile, mile and a half of where we're standing right here. So many people have asked me if you know somebody over in Gamewell, I said, I don't know anybody in Gamewell or wherever because I don't get out of Lower Creek. <laughs> uh, it's an honor to I guess from days when I used to go up to the fire department uptown when Sam Williams is up there and we had old Dalmatian dog, Smokey, and we had his brother or sister or whatever at home and whenever the dog up there gets sick, they come get ours. So I got a fire department relationship going back several years. But it's, it's an honor to have my name and my family's name on this building. Uh, I guess it's a dream come true from somebody that's lived in this neighborhood all my life. <clears throat> Give you a little bit of uh, background about the building. I guess it was a vision of mine from after I retired at Custom Veneers. It was a vision that I, I've got a car collection that most people don't know about, but I got a car collection and I needed some place to put them. Mm -hmm. and, but also, I wanted it to be a multi-purpose building to where I'd probably stay in it four or five years and then sell it and it could be used as something else. So, when I started, I had a vision that maybe someday it'd be a fire department, ES, a EMS building. And so, I started out and went to David Gray and told him that what I was thinking about doing I didn't have no idea what, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know what I'd all, kind of what I'd have to go through to do this. So I got with David and I got with Mike Willis. Mike Willis was a great partner in this thing, helping me get it 
landscape, get everything done. I'd hit, Mike would come by and he said, why are you doing it this way? We got to do it this way. So I'd listen to him. I, I knew he'd give me good guidance. And uh, so after that, I went up to see, of course, all of you, a lot of you know I'm on the planning board up to see Lenore. So the next step I had to go, go and see Jenny Willow. And she said, Mac, you can do this, but said, you know, you got to have 12 design features on that building out there. I said, what are you talking about? I said, you got to have 12 design features. So I went back to thinking and see, well, where am I going to get 12 design features? Well, if you get to looking on this building today, there's 12 design features out there. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's been a, uh, it's worked out well. I'm glad that the, it was a surprise that the city come out and really wanted to buy it. But it's a, it's a really a plus to the Lower Creek community and surrounding area. And I hope it, uh, is very efficient for the city. One thing I will add, and Doug, you will appreciate this. One thing I had in mind when I built this building, and I'm gonna challenge you in your new buildings, this is gonna be one of the most efficient buildings that the city of Lenore owns. And I wouldn't doubt it's not better than yours. <laughs> your new one. <laughs> because uh, it's, 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 a, it's a green building and I think it'll work out real good for the city. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mac. Thank you very much, family, and we appreciate very much that uh, this building will always have the Mac Martin family name attached to it. We're very proud of that. Now I'd like to introduce the uh, CEO of Blue Ridge Electric, Mr. Doug Johnson. Thank you, Joe. So what do you all think? you think I should take on Mac's bet? <laughs> Well, it's an honor to be here with you today. You know, at Blue Ridge Energy, uh, our purpose is to make life better for our communities and the people that we serve. And as I think about it, Chief, I think making life better also means making life safer. And that's what you're about with the Lenore Fire Department. Congratulations to you and the city of Lenore, uh, Blue Ridge Energy, and our board of directors, and Mr. Jeff Jones, who is the president of our boards here today as well. And he's a citizen of Lower Creek, so he has a personal interest in this as well. Uh, we want to say how much we enjoy being a part of this, being able to access USDA federal government loan uh, for this facility at $1.3 million, 10 years, citizens, at zero interest. That's good for your taxes. Yeah. So you get better life, better safety, no tax increase off of it because we're able to finance this using access to federal dollars. And as a corporate citizen of the citizen of the city of Lenore with our headquarters and our Caldwell District office, which is on the, just on the edge of Lower Creek, uh, we're very thankful to have this kind of protection here. And I say congratulations to all the leadership of the city and of our county who's building an EMS right across the road. We're going to be well protected in this area and making good investments to keep us safer. So congratulations to all. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. We appreciate the relationship that we have with Blue Ridge Energy always. Very proud to have the district office and soon to be the new corporate headquarters in Lenore. They're beautiful buildings as we come in from our northern entrance coming into our city. Jeff, thank you for being here this afternoon. Anything you would like to add to it? You're welcome to. I'm never going to miss a chance to talk to you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm sorry that David Eggers and Kelly Melton are two other board members from Caldwell County on the Blue Ridge Electric Board are unable to be with us today, but uh, they send their regards and their congratulations as well. This board has made this effort not only here in Lenore, but in Gamewell there is a new fire truck. Patterson's about to get a new fire truck because of the efforts that Blue Ridge has put forth. And our mountain counties that are served by Blue Ridge are also seeing the benefits of this USDA money. So we're delighted this is something that we're able to facilitate and we're very grateful for this facility here in Lenore. And it is just a mile from the house, so we're very glad it's very close by. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Jeff. Thank you for what you do. At this time, um, I have uh, something I would like to present to uh, Mr. Johnson, if you'll come join me. This is just a, uh, a plaque with our city flag 
and a statement saying thank you for your support of our great city signed by me as the mayor August 12, 2019. We appreciate this and what you have meant to this building for us and what you mean to Caldwell County in general and, and Western North Carolina. We're very proud to be partners with you. So we will display this prominently in our new corporate office building. Thank you, City of Lenore. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to ask the uh, Mike, Mac Martin family if you will come forward. And we would like to uh, present this to your family, Mac, for what you have meant not only to our community in this building, but from so many years, 50 years. You married a girl when she was three years old? I don't know how you, know how you did that. <laughs> but Mac and Peggy, Jason, and your family, thank you. This reads, presented to the Mac Martin and family in honor and recognition of your contributions to the City of Lenore, Fire Station Number 3, August the 12th, 2019. Lenore City Council. Thank you, Mac. We're honored to be a part of this. Thank you for what you have meant to us and what you still mean to us every day. You're welcome. And if you don't mind, uh, Lenore Fire Department is, is ingrained in our faith. Uh, so I've asked our chaplain, Jason Hines, to be here to give our station a blessing, and I, and I hope you will partake in that, and, and thank you for allowing us to do that. Mr. Hines? Jesus said, listen, I'm standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. Firefighters, friends, family, we're here today to ask God's presence on our new fire station. This is not just a place to store our gear. This is a station that holds our department as a family. This is a symbol of God's love and care, and it's a symbol of our response to the calling that we have to protect the people of this community. So let us stop for a moment and bless our house and ask God's presence as, as we open the doors for the first time to the community. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you humbly, Lord, just to say thank you. Thank you for the past, present, and the future. Lord, there was so so much that went into building of this fire station. So many values, Lord, that was still so many officers and firefighters that served before us. Lord, we thank you for them and uplift them to you and ask you to be uh, for them to be in your care. Lord, we pray for the present. Lord, I thank you for the men and women that made this day possible. Lord, with the hard work and all the, the, the committees and all the, the, the approvals that had to be done to make this happen, thank you for a city that provides for, its, for this department. Lord, thank you for the men and women that wake up every morning to come out and serve this community. Lord, we just ask you to bless and protect them as well. But, Lord, on this special day, we also stand before you and pray for the future. Lord, we pray that this firehouse will be a light to this community as a beacon of safety. Lord, we pray for all those, through, for all the young children that come through station tours here, that they will be inspired to maybe one day serve within these walls. Lord, we ask your blessing upon all those that's going to come after us and take the torch when it's our turn to pass it on. But most of all, Lord, we recognize you today for your strength, Lord, and we come to you to ask for your blessing on this house, and we ded dedicate this day for you and for your glory. Lord, please keep us all safe. Lord, be with our families. Lord, let this be our home away from home. Lord, let this be our firehouse. Lord, we ask that you bring all the firefighters that serve in this building. Lord, tie them together as a family as they eat together and laugh together and cry together. 
Lord, we just uplift them and ask that you just continue that Lenore tradition that was spoken here earlier. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve this community. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. And it's in your son's precious name we pray today. Amen. All right, at this time we are ready to uncouple our fire hose to welcome you all to our new home. I uh, do one, have one thing to let you know. We are planning an open house during Fire Prevention Week in October to welcome everybody back out here to visit with us. But thank you all for being here, and now we will commence to welcome you to our house. Can I get the fireman up here? Fireman up here. Yeah, fire, fire. <laughs> Go to the word. <laughs> City Cal. Retired fireman, too. It's all part of y'all. Come on. Chief Frisco. Chief Frisco. <laughs> Would you hold the other end of this for me, Chief? 